Hey everybody. At SEER, we're constantly brainstorming how we can leverage artificial intelligence into our current repetitive processes. As we were thinking about this, we came across this blog post that we published a couple of years ago, 18 ways to diagnose a decline in organic traffic. Reporting is something that every SEO or marketer will have to do, whether that's on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly cadence. And while this post was published a couple of years ago, a lot of the content within it is still relevant today. That includes looking into seasonality or search interest, uh, competition, keyword visibility, and rankings whenever you're trying to analyze performance shifts in organic traffic. What we wanted to do was to create a custom GPT for this process to help it even more efficient. Or if you're a um, newer analyst that's just now getting started on reporting, hopefully this GPT can act as an assistant into walking through that process and providing some um, assistance with um, analysis or optimization recommendations as well. So we used the content of this page as well as some best practices that we have at SEER in order to make this custom GBT, the SEO organic traffic decline analyst. So what I want to do is walk through the uh, workflow of this custom GPT and just highlight some of the capabilities as well. So to start, the GPT will ask for an upload of your Google Analytics or Google Search Console report. And this will help it provide a light analysis on the data, as well as provide those recommendations down the line. So. I provided a export of Sears Google Search Console um, report comparing March 2024 to February 2024 data. Starts off by analyzing this data to provide the total number of clicks, the total number of, of impressions, as well as the increase or decrease in um, these metrics based on the comparison period. So one thing that I do want to call out is that whenever exporting from Google Search Console to watch out for sampling. The actual SEER site had around 28,000 uh, total clicks for uh, March. However, within the export, we only had um, just under 10,000. So if anyone has any ideas to get around this sampling, definitely let me know. Um, however, this is still going to provide a good enough um, directional analysis. However, if you're using um, Google Analytics or do have an unsampled report, it should provide a uh, accurate analysis for the clicks as well as any um, changes for your performance as well. So just something to be aware of. After it provides this initial analysis, um, it has a couple of core functions to look into. This includes uh, Google algorithm updates, whether any of these happened over your comparison periods, um, Google uh, organic ranking changes, uh, search interest and SERP feature changes. Whenever we get to those, that's going to be primarily using SEMrush or Ahrefs. Um, but for now, we're going to stick with um, the current flow and look into Google algorithm updates next. So I should ask to check for some updates during this um, time period. As you recall, my um, data was based in March 2024, and so Google or so the GPT is able to remember. Um, this information and say, yeah, there was a significant algorithm update in March 2024, the um, Quora update or March 2024 Quora update. So it uses information from a couple of different sources, such as Google, Search Engine Journal, Mozcast, in order to get all of this information to provide uh, you with this um, information, as well as some. Uh, context and recommendations for next steps as well. So the March 2024 update was primarily focused on um, low quality content or um, AI written content. And so after it uh, provides all of this information, I say, yeah, we do have some AI assisted content on the SEER site. Let's check out how rankings changed over this period as well. So for rankings, it'll ask for a export of the uh, SEMrush or Ahrefs um, rankings. So I provided the respective um, exports for each of these comparison periods. It will initially run into a slight uh, error 
but this is just it reformatting into a different um, file type. So after this, it'll be able to work through the analysis uh, more efficiently. The core focuses within the ranking changes are going to be um, overall change in ranking. So how many total keywords was your site ranking for uh, previously and um, in your current period, as well as striking distance keywords. So at SEER, we classify striking distance keywords as any keywords in position 11 to position 30. These are the um, pages two and three of Google, where maybe just a little bit of um, love on those pages can have a large uh, impact. Uh, we're also looking at page one keywords, so positions uh, one through 10, as well as the uh, search volume changes. We're gonna look into search volume changes as a proxy for those uh, search uh, interest changes and the seasonality to see how the um, volume of users searching for these things has changed um, for the comparison periods. So it'll provide some analysis on the keywords. So for instance, it's seen that um, SEER had a drop in position 10 to position 80 for this branded term. It's also looking at page one keywords, again, with that branded term and some of the other terms that we're ranking for on page one with um, other posts on the site. Um, for example, Screaming Frog um, improved from position 11 to three. Um, if you want, you can drill into this even more to see like what pages these are ranking for. But in its uh, core element, it's acting more as a consultant in order to provide holistic um, analysis of the site. It's also looking into traffic um, imp implications, and this is also based on the um, report that you provided earlier as well. So you can. Um, It'll ask you some questions, or if you want to move on to the next section, um, feel free to you know dig in on some of this too and use some of that uh, consultive uh, nature in order to really dig in on your performance. So let's look into what the overall change in page one and page key, page overall change in page one keywords from February to March here. So in in order uh, to look at this, it goes back and looks at those comparison periods that we looked at and um, provides the amount of keywords that are new on page one, the amount of keywords that were lost, and the amount that retained. It's also able to provide some notable observations from this to provide you know, some recommendations for optimizations moving forward. So one of the goals within the GPT is to see you know, like what the primary cause for the uh, performance shifts is. So one thing I asked is, is it safe to assume that ranking improvements can primarily uh, be attributed to um, the increase in clicks from February to March or something else here? It's Now it's going to say, you know, like it's reasonable to initially look into this, but let's drill into some of those other capabilities that I mentioned previously, such as uh, search volume changes. So as it provides some of this information, I say, OK, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's look into search volume trends. So it uses that um, previous export that we provided from SimRush into looking into the changes in um, search interest and seasonality from February to March. So as it looks into this, it sums all of the um, individual unique search volume from February to March in order to provide some uh, analysis on if this was a you know, significant increase, a significant decrease, or um, if this was relatively uh, modest. So one thing that I like um, that this highlights here is that the while we did experience an increase in search volume for page one keywords of 21,000 um, searches, it says that this uh, overall increase was a relatively modest increase. And while you know, like we did experience that increase, the overall increase in search volume is relatively small compared to the total search volume. So this indicates that seasonality and search interest um, probably isn't the primary contributor for our increase in clicks from February to March. So we confirm that this is for page one keywords. And the next thing that we're gonna look at is for the impact of SERP features. Um, we're using the impact of SERP features within the SimRush export as a proxy for competition to see if there are any um, other SERP features that are gaining traction on page one. But if you would like to um, 
include exports of a competitor SimRush file. So it can look into difference and changes into those um, keywords as well. Feel free to do that. So one thing that SERP features can affect is your click-through rates um, of your data. So the GPT will help walk through um, and identify some of the SERP feature changes and assess this impact. And as I scroll through, and provide some analysis. So one thing that I was really interested in is what the overall frequency changes were um, for specific SERP features. Ran into a little trouble to start out, out here. However, it finished up by um, able to clean up the data and provide some of these uh, overall frequency changes for our page one keywords. So looking into this, we're able to see that um, reviews increased um, 1800 uh, for 1800 keywords. Over the course of month over month, we had an increase in um, ads at the top of the search results, as well as jobs, video, and um, ads at the bottom of the page one search, re search results. Some of the things that decreased were site links, the video carousel, um, featured snippets, and image. Um, so while you're able to look into this, this helps you know, like say maybe what you should prioritize in your um, campaigns and strategies moving forward. Maybe prioritizing images on your um, blog posts and such, while this still is important for user experience, maybe trying to win image uh, features results isn't going to be a primary um, driver in the competition. So with all these observations, it's able to provide some of the um, recommendations and next steps for these. Um, so if you're in experiencing increases in ads at the top of your um, at the top of the search results for your keywords, this could affect click-through rate as your results, even if you're in position one, are being pushed down, maybe below the fold. So as it's able to look into all of these things, um, I ask just to compile all this information. What are the primary drivers for my performance shifts from February to March, and what should I prioritize as next steps? After it compiles all of this information, it's able to look into some of those primary drivers for performance shifts. So the main thing that it mentions is the ranking changes that we um, experienced on uh, gains on page one, as well as the keywords that were attained on page ones. The March um, 2024 algorithm update could have a major impact on not only March's um, performance, but as well performance moving forward. So this is something to look into and also search uh, volume trends. It's a modest um, overall increase in search volume, but it could contribute to some of the higher traffic. So provides this analysis as well as some of the um, recommended actions for next steps, um, such as you know like content review and optimization and looking into search feature optimization to include to increase that page one visibility as well. So this was the end of this workflow. You can continue to look into and drill into some of these um, changes for your performance, but feel free to uh, work with this GPT. We're gonna share out the link and let me know if you have any ideas to level this up or have any feedback or have any questions. We'd be happy to um, chat through this. Hope this helps and um, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Thanks.